new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you A former Yale University School of Medicine administrator has admitted to stealing $40 million worth of computers and electronic equipment from the institution, which she then sold to fund her lavish lifestyle, including multiple homes, a fleet of luxury cars, and international vacations. Jamie Patron Horrington, age 42, from Lithia Springs, Georgia, on Monday pled guilty to federal wire fraud charges and tax charges related to her years-long scheme. She could face up to 23 years in prison when she is sentenced for her crimes on June 29th. According to court documents and statements, beginning back in 2008, Patron Corrington worked at Yale University School of Medicine's Department of Emergency Medicine. She most recently served as the Director of Finances and Administration. As a part of her job, Patron Corrington was authorized to make purchases for her department below $10,000. Beginning in 2013, Patron Corrington ordered or had her staffers order millions of dollars in electronics, including Microsoft Surface Pro tablets and iPads from Yale vendors using the school's funds and arranged to ship the goods to an out-of-state business in exchange for money, which she then pocketed. As part of the scheme, Patrol Corrington falsely represented on Yale's international forums and in emails that the equipment was for Yale's needs, such as medical studies. To cover up her crimes, Patron Cordington broke up the fraudulent purchases into orders below $10,000 thresholds that would require additional approval. The out-of-state business, which resold the electronic equipment to customers, paid Patron Cordington by wiring funds into the account for Mavis Entertainment, a photograph and video production company co-owned by her husband in which she is listed as a principal. Quote, in total, Patron caused a loss of approximately $40 million to Yale, the United States Attorney's Office listed. Patron used the proceeds of the sales of the stolen equipment for various personal expenses, including expensive cars, real estate, and travel. Specifically, according to court documents, Patron used some of her misbegotten funds to purchase three homes in Connecticut and one in Georgia. A 2014 white Mercedes Benz G550, 2017 Red Land Rover SV autobiography, a 2015 black Cadillac Escalade Premium, a 2020 red Mercedes Benz, a 2016 white Cadillac Escalade, and a 2018 Dodge Charger. Trone's husband of nearly 19 years, James E. Corrington, displayed the family's impressive collection of cars on his business Instagram page, which also featured photos of the couple enjoying dinner at Gucci Garden in Florence, Italy, back in 2021. Jamie's Corrington, age 44, has not been charged in connection with his wife's scheme. Patrol Corrington also failed to pay taxes on the tens of millions of dollars she received from selling the stolen equipment. She filed false federal tax returns for the 2013 through 2016 tax years, in which she falsely claimed as business expenses the cost of the stolen electronics and failed, did not file any federal tax returns for 2017 through 2020 tax years, costing the United States Treasury more than $6.4 million. The FBI launched an investigation into Patron Corrington in late August of 2021 after receiving information from Yale officials, and she was arrested a week later. As a part of the plea agreement, Patron Corrington has agreed to forfeit 560 k that was seized from Mavis Entertainment bank account along with six high-end vehicles. She also has agreed to sell the three homes she owns and co-owns in Naugatuck and Stanford along with Connecticut and use the money to make restitutions to Yale University and the government. Her homes in 
Lithia Springs, Georgia is also subject to seizure and liquidation. According to Zillow.com, that is a five bedroom, five bath home, and it has an estimated value of more than $580,000. At this moment in time, Patrol Corrington is currently free on a $1 million bail pending her sentencing. I'm just going to be honest uh, with this opinion at this moment in time, regardless of however people are going to feel about what I'm about to say. Um, he has no choice but to basically stay with her for the rest of his life. There is no other woman that is going to facilitate the type of lifestyle um, that he was, in a sense, given for free. Like I said, I don't know what his education is. I don't know if that was an actual business or if it was a cover. I don't know what it was. But she literally facilitated every single thing, more than likely for like 19 years. You didn't hear a word of anything that he basically put up, right? He was just basically there living a life and she was willing to take all of the risk in order to give that life directly to him. He has no choice. There is no, I'm, I'm telling you this right now. Like I said, there is no other woman that is going to facilitate, uh, take the fall, take the blame, do all of these illegal things in order to give a man something that uh, either she wants to give him or something that he desires. They are they are a match made in heaven. Because like I said before, I don't know what he's able to do for himself as a man. I, I, I obviously know that the one million dollar cash bond was able to be you know posted. So she's out and more than likely they're having conversations and trying to figure some stuff out and move some things around. <laughs> which is you know the best case scenario which they they better figure out how to sit up there and do because uh, i looked at the picture they have a child so y'all better figure out something y'all decided to go into a life of crime <laughs> y'all better figure this out uh y'all gotta be selling homes left and right cars are basically gone yo yutch whoo yo this is ridiculous but you know this is the one time i can happily say that i am happy that a black man is not in jail and in prison at this moment in time for something that deals with uh illegal means of getting money or funding into a bank account i i am so <laughs> i'm happy look here I, I i am immensely happy that it is not a black man right now taking a fall for every single thing uh that has taken place because like i said before if it was a black man who did this he would have been caught a long time they would not have waited like yo this started back in 2008 2008 she was sitting up here doing this we're in 2022 and they just now like up oh, we're gonna put you in a clinker <laughs> that's done we got the cuffs right here your style they're gucci <laughs> right um like i said they, they would have maybe if it was a black dude doing this from some of the stories that i covered he would have been caught instantly like with all of the ppp uh loan scams and all of that they caught them black dudes instantly when i mean instantly i'm talking about like next week they sat up there and caught them right but because you know she's caucasian right this was able to go on for the amount of time that it was able to go on like i said he knew exactly what it was 19 years ago he found that right one that had the look that had the uh what was it the, the complexion for the protection right that they're not going to automatically go after so it'll give them enough time to facilitate all of their stuff like i said he knows he like look here this dude he didn't really get any type of credit in this article but he knew the right one to pick he knew the right one to pick and this is why he got married to her for 19 years because he already knew and his best bet is to stay married to her because if you know all of these tales basically tell us anything the moment in time he decides that he wants to try to sit up there and leave she more than likely has stuff on him she more than likely has records and all these other types of things so like i said before he made this bed he has to sit up there and sleep and stay in that bed for the rest of his life because ain't no other woman ain't no other woman about to sit up there and go through all of this madness <laughs> and do all of this nonsense and potentially face 23 years in prison ain't about to sit up there and do it ain't about to sit up there and do it not just not i'm sorry <laughs> this is not gonna happen so you know like i said so for any of those divesters that want to 
you know use this as a oh this is what i'm talking about with black men and like i said you know it, it comes to a point in time that i've realized that a lot of people who don't want to be with black people are it's completely fine you don't want to be a part of the community either so when you decide that you you want to bad mouth you know either black men or black women you want to bad mouth the community and you want to be with your significant other stay with your significant other on the whole other side of the city make sure you stay away from the community right don't be trying to go to no clubs don't be trying to go to no music events or anything like that anything that has to do with black make sure you keep your black self directly out i'm just i'm, I'm talking solely to those divestors both the male and the females that want to talk negatively on black men negatively on black women negatively about the black community in general right while propping up their you know preference like i said hey I, I whatever y'all want to sit up there and do is whatever y'all want to do at the end of the day all i'm sitting up there saying is keep black people directly out of your mouth if you're happy with whatever it is right that you're doing whoever it is that you're with you shouldn't even be focused on black people you shouldn't even be worried about us because you live in a high life you doing every single thing that you ever wanted to sit up there and do in life and you made it now you in the big leagues right so you know like i said that's 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 all i'm saying that's just specifically to uh, those divesting few that always want to run their mouth uh, specifically when it comes to, you know, videos like this and different things and that such when they want to try to make an example and, and try to list why it is that they don't like black men and all this other type of stuff. Right. But anyways, like I said, um, black women, hey, it ain't nothing for y'all to really sit up there and say, because at the end of the day, he got exactly what he wanted. He got a woman that was going to facilitate him a certain type of lifestyle she was going to steal rob and do whatever she needed to do in order to you know uh, uh provide that for her guy right and we all know that y'all not going to go through that type of madness in order to do this so this is not even a loss <laughs> this is this should not even be on the radar i'm pretty sure a lot of black women don't even know who this guy even is and that's exactly how it should be because when you have people that make their choices they should be directly off of your radar you shouldn't even know it shouldn't even register a name or, or who these individuals basically are because it's not even a loss to you at the end of the day right so that now because that one is basically gone that now allows you right to be out here and you know search for you know the the black men you know that you're looking for that you specifically want it makes things a lot easier you know but anyways <laughs> i'm pretty sure i went all over the place you know with this video but uh anyways let me know what you guys think about this video and everything i stated in the comment description below and as always peace love and stay tuned for the next video